Did you know that the ability to navigate emotions and relationships can significantly impact your overall happiness and success in life? In a world filled with challenges, understanding key skills like seeking support, mastering self-control, and setting healthy boundaries can make all the difference. If you want to cultivate deeper connections and foster personal growth, you need to embrace these powerful strategies. Throughout this video, we'll explore 10 essential skills that will transform the way you approach conflict, communicate with others, and ultimately enhance your emotional well-being. From the strength found in asking for help to the transformative power of forgiveness, these lessons will guide you on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. So, whether you're navigating the complexities of relationships or striving for personal growth, stick around. You're about to uncover insights that can reshape your life and help you thrive in every aspect. Let's dive in. Number one, empathy. Understanding others' perspectives. Imagine a sunny afternoon where laughter fills the air, friends gather to share stories, and warmth surrounds you. It's moments like these that remind us of the power of connection and the joy of shared experiences. But what happens when a misunderstanding arises, creating a rift between those who were once so close? It's in those moments of conflict that empathy becomes our guiding light. Empathy is not just a buzzword, it's a bridge that connects our hearts and minds. It allows us to step into someone else's shoes, to feel their pain, their joy, their struggles, and their triumphs. As we dive deeper into the essence of empathy, think about a time when you felt misunderstood. Perhaps it was during a heated argument with a loved one, or a moment when your feelings were dismissed by someone you trusted. Those memories can be painful, evoking feelings of sadness or frustration, but they also serve as powerful reminders of how important it is to truly understand one another. Empathy encourages us to look beyond our own experiences and recognize the unique stories that shape the people around us. It prompts us to ask questions like, what might they be going through? Or what fears or insecurities are influencing their behavior? This shift in perspective not only fosters understanding, but can transform conflicts into opportunities for growth and connection. So, as we navigate the complexities of life, let's allow empathy to guide our interactions. When we open our hearts and minds to others, we not only deepen our relationships, but also create a space where healing can take place. This journey may feel daunting, especially when emotions run high, but remember every effort to understand another person's reality is a step toward a more compassionate world. The beauty of empathy lies in its ability to turn moments of conflict into shared experiences of growth, allowing us to emerge stronger and more connected than before. Number two, active listening. The importance of nonverbal cues. Picture yourself sitting in a cozy cafe, sipping your favorite drink while a friend shares a story that means the world to them. As you listen, you can't help but notice the sparkle in their eyes, the slight tremble in their voice, and the way their hands animate the tale. This scene is not just about the words being spoken, it's a powerful reminder of the art of active listening. In a world filled with distractions, the ability to truly listen to someone is a rare and invaluable skill. It's the foundation of effective communication and emotional connection. Reflect for a moment on the last time you felt genuinely heard. Maybe it was during a tough day when you needed to vent or share a personal struggle. In that moment, the person you spoke to didn't just hear your words, they picked up on your tone, your body language, and the unspoken feelings lingering beneath the surface. They engaged in active listening, which transformed a simple conversation into a safe haven where you could express your vulnerabilities. This type of interaction creates a bond that transcends mere words, fostering trust 
and understanding. As we delve into the nuances of active listening, it's essential to recognize that communication goes beyond verbal exchanges. Our body language, facial expressions, and even our tone of voice convey messages that words alone cannot express. When we pay attention to these non-verbal cues, we gain deeper insight into the emotions and intentions of those around us. This curiosity, this desire to truly understand, encourages us to approach conversations with an open heart and mind. By doing so, we not only validate others' feelings, but also create an environment where genuine dialogue can flourish. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, take a moment to focus not just on the words, but on the entire experience. Engage with the person in front of you, listen actively, and allow their emotions to resonate within you. You may find that this practice not only enriches your relationships, but also transforms how you perceive and interact with the world around you. Number three, compromise, shifting from conflict to collaboration. Now, let's shift gears and imagine a bustling family gathering. The laughter is infectious, but suddenly a disagreement breaks the cheerful atmosphere. Two family members, once united by love and shared memories, find themselves at odds over a trivial issue. The joy of the moment hangs in the balance, and the tension becomes palpable. This scenario, familiar to many of us, illustrates the delicate dance of compromise, a skill that can turn conflict into collaboration. When faced with a disagreement, it's easy to become entrenched in our positions, fighting for our viewpoint like it's a matter of life and death. However, think back to a time when you successfully navigated a conflict through compromise. Perhaps it was a tough decision regarding a vacation destination where everyone had differing opinions. Instead of allowing frustration to take over, you chose to listen, understand, and find a middle ground. That experience not only strengthened your relationships, but also reminded you of the beauty of collaboration. Compromise is not about losing, it's about creating a win-win situation where all parties feel heard and valued. As we explore the art of compromise, it's important to acknowledge the underlying emotions that often fuel our disagreements. We might feel threatened, unheard or invalidated, leading to a defensive stance. Recognizing these emotions opens the door to understanding and encourages us to approach conflicts as opportunities for growth rather than battles to be won. When we shift our mindset from me versus them to how can we make this work for everyone, we cultivate an atmosphere of cooperation and mutual respect. The journey of compromise requires us to dig deeper, to identify our shared goals and values. Number four, seeking support, strength in asking for help. Imagine a moment in your life when you faced a challenge so overwhelming that it felt like you were carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. The anxiety, confusion and pressure built up inside, making each breath feel heavier than the last. In those moments, the idea of seeking help can feel like admitting defeat, but it's essential to recognize that asking for support is, in fact, a courageous step toward healing and growth. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads one path leads deeper into isolation and despair, while the other opens up to a community of understanding, encouragement and shared experiences. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Recall a time when you leaned on someone during a tough period, a friend, family member, or perhaps even a mentor. Remember the comfort of their presence, the validation you felt as you shared your struggles, and the relief that came from simply being heard. It's these moments of connection that remind us of our humanity. They serve as poignant reminders that we are not alone in our struggles. The stigma surrounding asking for help can be daunting, often stemming from societal pressures to be self-sufficient. Yet, 
the reality is that every individual faces challenges that can feel insurmountable at times. The beauty of seeking support lies in the relationships we forge. When we reach out to others, we not only allow ourselves to be vulnerable, but also invite them to share their experiences. This exchange fosters empathy and understanding, creating a safe space for healing. It's important to remember that everyone has faced their share of battles, whether it's navigating personal loss, career setbacks, or mental health challenges. By sharing our struggles, we not only lighten our own burdens, but also pave the way for others to feel comfortable in opening up about their experiences. As we explore the theme of support, it's vital to acknowledge the various forms it can take. Sometimes it's as simple as a heartfelt conversation with a friend. Other times it may involve seeking professional help from a counselor or therapist who can provide guidance and strategies tailored to your situation. Each of these avenues can be incredibly empowering, offering fresh perspectives and new coping mechanisms. Remember, seeking support is not a sign of weakness, it's a testament to your strength and resilience. It takes courage to voice your needs and to admit when you're struggling. Each time you reach out, you not only advocate for your well-being, but also inspire those around you to do the same. So. The next time you find yourself facing a challenge, consider the power of community and connection. Embrace the strength that comes from asking for help and allow yourself to be buoyed by the support of those who care. Number five, forgiveness, letting go for personal freedom. Visualize yourself standing at the edge of a vast, tranquil lake. The surface is smooth and reflective, symbolizing the peace you long to achieve. Yet, beneath that surface lies a heavy weight, the burden of resentment and anger from past conflicts. Holding on to grudges can feel like carrying an anchor that drags you down, preventing you from experiencing the joy and freedom that life has to offer. Forgiveness is not just a gift we give to others, it is a profound act of self-liberation. Think back to a moment when someone hurt you, Perhaps a friend betrayed your trust, or a family member's words cut deep. The emotional scars from such experiences can linger, influencing your thoughts and actions long after the event has passed. It's natural to feel anger, frustration or sadness in these situations. However, holding on to those feelings can become detrimental affecting not only your mental health, but also your relationships with others. Forgiveness is often misunderstood. It is not about excusing the behavior of others or condoning their actions. Instead, it is about reclaiming your power and emotional freedom. When you choose to forgive, you take control of your narrative. You acknowledge the hurt, but decide that it will no longer dictate your happiness. This process can be challenging, as it often requires introspection and vulnerability. Yet, the journey of forgiveness can lead to profound personal growth. To embark on this journey, start by reflecting on your feelings. Allow yourself to feel the pain, but also explore what lies beneath it. Ask yourself, what lessons have I learned from this experience? How has it shaped my perspective? This exploration can transform resentment into understanding, allowing you to view the situation through a broader lens. By recognizing the complexities of human behavior, you can foster empathy for those who have wronged you, paving the way for genuine forgiveness. Remember, forgiveness is a continuous process. It may take time and require conscious effort. Techniques such as journaling, mindfulness, and self-reflection can aid in this journey. When feelings of anger resurface, remind yourself of the reasons you chose to forgive. Each step you take toward forgiveness liberates you from the shackles of negativity, allowing you to embrace a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Ultimately, forgiveness is an act of self-love. By releasing the burdens of the past, you create space for joy, 
connection and new experiences. Imagine stepping away from the weight of resentment and into a future where you can truly thrive. This journey may be challenging, but the reward, personal freedom and emotional peace is worth every effort. Number six, growth, turning conflict into learning opportunities. Imagine a vibrant garden bursting with colors and life. Each flower represents a lesson learned, a challenge faced and a moment of growth. In our lives, conflict can serve as the fertile soil from which these lessons bloom. While it may be tempting to view conflict as a negative experience, it can also be a powerful catalyst for personal and relational growth. Embracing conflict as an opportunity for learning can transform our perspectives and deepen our connections. Think back to a time when you encountered a disagreement or a difficult conversation. Perhaps it was with a colleague at work, a family member, or even a close friend. Initially, the emotions may have felt overwhelming, frustration, anger, or hurt. However, if you reflect on that experience, you may realize that it prompted you to examine your own beliefs and behaviors. This introspection is where the seeds of growth are sown. Conflict often reveals underlying issues that may not have been addressed previously. It serves as a mirror, reflecting not only the dynamics of our relationships, but also our own emotional triggers and reactions. By approaching conflict with curiosity and openness, we can uncover valuable insights about ourselves and others. What did this experience teach you about your communication style? How did it challenge your assumptions? This kind of self-reflection encourages personal growth and lays the foundation for healthier interactions in the future. As we explore this theme, it's essential to recognize that growth doesn't always come easily. It requires patience and a willingness to confront discomfort. Instead of avoiding difficult conversations, lean into them. Embrace the idea that every conflict is an opportunity for learning and understanding. Consider employing techniques such as active listening and empathy to navigate these situations. By doing so, you create a safe environment where all parties feel heard and valued. The lessons learned from conflict can be transformative. They can guide us toward more effective communication, improved emotional regulation, and a deeper understanding of our values and priorities. As we cultivate this mindset, we empower ourselves to face future challenges with confidence and resilience. Imagine standing in that vibrant garden once more, surrounded by the flowers of your experiences. Each bloom represents a lesson learned, a moment of growth, and a testament to your strength. By embracing conflict as a pathway to learning, you not only enhance your own journey, but also contribute to the growth of those around you. In this way, every conflict can be reframed as an opportunity for connection and collaboration, nurturing a deeper sense of understanding and compassion. Number seven, boundaries, protecting your emotional well-being. Picture yourself at a peaceful beach where the waves gently kiss the shore and the sun bathes the landscape in warmth. Now imagine that feeling of serenity being disrupted by someone intruding on your space, blaring music too loudly, or encroaching on your personal area. This metaphor captures the essence of setting boundaries, a crucial aspect of protecting our emotional well-being. Boundaries are not walls, they are the invisible lines that define our personal space, ensuring that we feel safe and respected in our relationships. Reflect on a time when you felt overwhelmed by someone else's demands or expectations. Maybe it was a friend who constantly sought your help without considering your own needs, or a colleague who expected you to take on extra work without acknowledgement. In these moments, the absence of boundaries can lead to feelings of resentment and exhaustion. By recognizing the importance of setting limits, you can reclaim your time, energy, and peace of mind. Establishing boundaries requires self-awareness and clarity about what you value. 
Start by identifying your emotional triggers and understanding what behaviors make you feel uncomfortable or drained. This process is essential for defining your limits and communicating them effectively. It's not about being harsh or unkind, rather. It's an act of self-respect that fosters healthier relationships. When communicating your boundaries, aim for clarity and kindness. Use I statements to express your feelings and needs without placing blame. For example, saying I feel overwhelmed when I'm asked to take on extra tasks without notice opens the door for constructive dialogue. Remember that setting boundaries is a continuous process. It may require revisiting and adjusting as circumstances change. As you practice setting boundaries, you may encounter resistance. Not everyone will react positively to your newfound assertiveness, but that's okay. Recognize that your boundaries are for your protection and well-being. By standing firm, you demonstrate self-respect and encourage others to do the same. Visualize yourself back on that serene beach, empowered by the boundaries you've established. Each boundary you set is like a gentle wave, creating a safe space where you can thrive emotionally and mentally. Embracing boundaries enables you to cultivate healthier relationships, prioritize your well-being, and ultimately foster a deeper connection with yourself and others. Number 8. Reactions. Mastering your response to events. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, looking out over a breathtaking landscape. The vastness of the view is awe-inspiring, yet a sudden gust of wind jolts you, threatening to throw you off balance. This moment is much like our emotional reactions to unexpected events. Life is unpredictable, and while we may not have control over the circumstances we encounter, we do have the power to master our responses. Learning to navigate our reactions is a vital skill that can transform challenges into opportunities for growth. Think back to a time when something unexpected disrupted your day. Perhaps it was an unexpected change at work, a heated conversation with a loved one, or even a surprise setback in your personal life. In that moment, your immediate reaction may have been driven by emotions, anger, frustration, or sadness. However, if you take a moment to reflect, you might recognize that those initial feelings often cloud our judgment and hinder effective communication. The key to mastering our reactions lies in cultivating emotional awareness. Start by recognizing your emotional triggers and patterns. What situations tend to elicit strong reactions? By understanding these patterns, you can develop strategies to respond more effectively. Techniques such as deep breathing, pausing before responding, and reframing the situation can help you maintain your composure and respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Embrace the power of perspective. Instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable obstacles, consider them as opportunities for growth and learning. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I approach it differently? This shift in mindset not only empowers you, but also encourages resilience in the face of adversity. As you practice mastering your responses, remember that it's a continuous journey. There will be moments of frustration, but each setback offers an opportunity to learn and grow. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and acknowledge the strength it takes to respond thoughtfully. Visualize yourself standing firm on that cliff, feeling the wind whip around you, yet rooted in your strength. Each time you master your reactions, you build resilience and emotional intelligence. By navigating your responses with intention, you not only empower yourself, but also inspire those around you to cultivate their own emotional awareness. Number 9. Patience. Embracing continuous self-improvement. Picture a beautiful tree standing tall in a serene forest. Over the years, it has weathered storms, basked in sunlight and soaked in rain. Each ring in its trunk tells a story of growth and resilience. 
Much like this tree, our journey of self-improvement requires patience and nurturing. In a world that often prioritizes instant gratification, cultivating patience can be a powerful antidote to frustration and disappointment. Reflect on a time when you sought to make a positive change in your life. Perhaps you wanted to adopt healthier habits, learn a new skill, or navigate a challenging relationship. The initial excitement may have spurred you into action, but as time passed, you might have encountered setbacks or slow progress. It's during these moments that patience becomes paramount. Embracing the journey rather than fixating solely on the destination allows for deeper growth and understanding. Patience is a skill that can be cultivated through practice and mindfulness. It begins with setting realistic expectations and recognizing that change takes time. Instead of measuring your progress by immediate results, focus on the small steps you take each day. Celebrate the victories, no matter how minor they may seem. Each small achievement contributes to your overall growth, creating a sense of momentum and motivation. Incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine can enhance your patience. Whether through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply taking moments to reflect, these practices encourage you to be present in the moment. By grounding yourself in the here and now, you can better appreciate your journey and the lessons it brings. It's essential to recognize that setbacks are part of the process. Instead of viewing them as failures, consider them as valuable learning experiences. Each challenge you face can provide insight into your strengths and areas for growth, ultimately guiding you toward a more profound understanding of yourself. Visualize that tree once more, its branches stretching wide and strong. Each year adds to its growth, reminding us that patience is an essential element of our development. By embracing continuous self-improvement with patience, we allow ourselves to flourish, creating a life filled with purpose and resilience. Number 10. Inner Strength – The Power of Self-Control Now, imagine standing at a crossroads where one path leads to instant gratification and the other toward long-term fulfillment. In today's fast-paced world, the ability to exercise self-control has never been more crucial. Inner strength, the power to manage impulses, delay gratification and remain focused on our goals can significantly impact our emotional well-being and overall success. Think back to a time when you faced a tempting distraction that threatened to derail your progress. Maybe it was the allure of procrastination, the pull of unhealthy habits, or the desire to engage in conflict rather than seeking resolution. In those moments, exercising self-control can feel like an uphill battle. However, recognizing the value of inner strength allows you to make conscious choices that align with your long-term objectives. Developing self-control begins with self-awareness. Reflect on your triggers and impulses. What situations tend to lead to rash decisions or distractions? By identifying these patterns, you can create strategies to navigate them effectively. Techniques such as setting clear goals, breaking tasks into manageable steps, and establishing accountability can bolster your self-control and reinforce your commitment to your aspirations. Visualization is a powerful tool in cultivating inner strength. Picture yourself successfully navigating a challenging situation, making choices that align with your values and goals. This mental rehearsal not only enhances your self-efficacy, but also prepares you for real-life situations where self-control is required. It's essential to practice self-compassion along this journey. Recognize that everyone struggles with self-control at times. Instead of berating yourself for perceived failures, approach setbacks with kindness and understanding. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're among the rare 0.01% who truly finish what they start. Remember, 
The skills we discussed, like seeking support and mastering self-control, aren't just theories, they're practical tools that can lead to meaningful changes in your life. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing a journey of self-discovery, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue exploring these vital skills and support each other on the path to a more fulfilling existence. Your commitment today can pave the way for a brighter tomorrow.